Hello, my name is Tristan Ashby and I've worked for the Fire and Rescue Services Association for almost 25 years and I'm currently the Chief Executive of the Union. This is a short video to provide you with a brief introduction to the organisation and to make you aware of what it does to support and represent its members. We're an independent, non-political trade union formed back in 1976 as the Retained Firefighters Union. However, in more recent times, it's become clear that other fire service personnel felt unrepresented. So in 2018, we changed our name to the Fire and Rescue Services Association and expanded our membership to include all grey and green book staff. The FRSA is recognised by the National Employers for consultation and just as importantly we have local recognition agreements with the majority of fire and rescue services across the UK. That provides our network of local officials with a mandate to consult and or negotiate with local terms and conditions on behalf of our members. In terms of local representation all of our local and national offices are certificated under trade union law to provide representation for our members through all the necessary management procedures, including discipline, grievance, absence management, medicals, capability procedure, pension disputes, internal disputes resolution procedures, pension ombudsman complaints and employment tribunals. It is important to emphasise that every member is guaranteed representation in disciplinary matters, irrespective of the nature of the allegation or allegations. We are here to represent and support our membership, not to act as judge and jury. Nationally, the FRSA has a seat on every national consultative board within FIRE, including health and safety, pensions, health and well-being, PPE and clothing, CBRNE and the People Forum. Plus, we have direct and regular access to the Home Office and evolved administrations, including the ministers responsible for fire. In summary, we support and represent our members at every level. We even go the extra mile and provide support and advice for secondary occupations where applicable. But most importantly, we are your voice at local and national level. We are a member-led organisation that listens to our membership and collectively acts on your wishes democratically. Our values are to ensure that we provide a professional, measured and constructive service that improves working practices and conditions. We believe that the national pay structure needs to be reformed to provide fire service staff with a set of terms and conditions that better reflect the service it provides to the public. In our view, fire service needs reform to remain relevant as a key service to the public that provides a broader set of services than at present. The fire rescue service needs a long-term evidence-based funding structure to ensure that it remains an attractive career prospect and retains its valued workforce. If you share these values, you can join the FRSA via our website. If you would prefer to have somebody visit your station or workplace to discuss the benefits of membership, please contact FRSA HQ. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and stay safe.